Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another foundation review which I'm very excited about. So I'm going to be reviewing the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation. So there's a couple of reasons why I'm really excited to review this. One of them is the fact that it is a powder foundation and I haven't used a powder foundation in absolute years. And also I have the liquid version of this foundation. So that's the HD Skin liquid one as you can see and then this is like the powder one so i've been comparing these in this video and also um there's a bunch of claims about this powder as well which sound amazing so i'm very excited to get into the review and yeah before i get started if you are new to my channel i would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below click the bell next to that so that you get notified every time i upload a new video and if you like and enjoy this video then give it a thumbs up okay so this is the outer packaging for the HD Matte Velvet Powder Foundation and then this is the actual component right here so it is this kind of plastic tin type packaging I absolutely love the packaging like the kind of aesthetics of the packaging it's very simple it's very clean it's very like skin like as well so the actual front of the packaging um, goes with the kind of colour of your skin tone so like the lighter the skin tone the lighter the packaging the darker the skin tone the darker the packaging is as as well which i think is great it's very similar to like obviously the packaging for the the um hd skin one right here like the cap on it gets darker you know as skin tones get darker yeah so i think it's just beautiful the packaging is just so aesthetically pleasing love that they've they continued that type of packaging on the powder one as well this is what it looks like inside so one side we get the powder and then on the other side we get this sponge. The sponge has two different textures to it. So one side is more velvety, which I don't know if you can see that there, but it's more textured and more velvety. It's quite fluffy. And then the other side here where it has a logo on it um, is more just smooth. It's very, very smooth. The info on the website recommends to use, you know, a certain side depending on the coverage you want, but we're going to test it out in a little minute. Um, first, I'm going to tell you like all the info on the foundation like what it's supposed to do for us so it says the long wearing formula offers medium to full coverage with a breathable texture helping to blur mattify and correct for up to 24 hours silky smooth powder refines the appearance of pores and visibly improves the skin tone while resisting sweat water and smudging the multi-purpose formula can also be used for your eyes as a primer or as a setting powder yeah so i've heard that you can use this obviously as a foundation as a bronzer as a touch-up powder as a setting powder it says it's suitable for normal combination and oily skin types and there's 40 shades available so yeah it's got similar info to what the liquid version does you know it's supposed to blur the skin it's mattifying you know all that kind of stuff so we'll get into the liquid one in the comparison a little bit later but first of all i'm going to obviously apply this to my face and um, we're going to do one side the powder and then the other side the liquid so i think actually i'll do powder on this side liquid on this side so it says to use the more fluffy side the textured side here if you want a little bit more of a natural look and then use the smooth side if you want a little bit more of a fuller coverage look uh, but i'm going to try like whatever I'll, I'll use the kind of fluffy side first to see what kind of coverage we get as you can see this is the amount of powder that we get in the compact and it would be so much more worth the money if it was like the full size of course because obviously this is for the sponge here which sometimes obviously we'll keep in there or sometimes we'll just throw away and use our own sponge that we really like so it would be really good if this was the full size of this it would be so much more worth the money because this is um 36 pound foundation so it's you know it's expensive the shade i've got is 2n26 and i'm real happy about that because i can do a good comparison to the liquid version because i have 2n26 in this as well which yeah that's great i'm going to use the more textured sides i've loaded up my sponge here and now i'm going to like um swipe it on my face i don't have any primer on like i only have my normal moisturizer which is a bobby brown um vitamin rich face base i will link it below for you it's amazing um i only have that on my face because i like to give the foundations like a fair chance you know like without any primer disturbing or anything like that so yeah i'm going to um swipe my face with this see what kind of coverage you'll get okay well very full coverage for a powder i'm just going to continue to swipe this on my face so it definitely has that matte finish to it 
have a slight patchiness right here, which I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's maybe my moisturiser is just not dried properly. Um, but yeah, there's the patch. I don't know if you guys can see that there. I'm hoping it's just my moisturiser not dried that well. Um, because I'm hoping this will be good because obviously I haven't got any other powder foundation. There's like a little bit of something happening right here in the sponge so I'm actually going to switch to the other side here not the other side but the kind of white part here of the same side to cover the rest of my face just in case that's what's causing that so I mean this side that I'm using does um, say it's for a more natural kind of medium coverage yeah I would say like definitely like medium buildable full yeah I'm going to pat on this wee patch that I have here see if that helps it out I don't know what's happening with this wee bit here like it might just be my actual skin today I'm going to take a little bit of this down my nose see how it goes here because my nose doesn't really take oh wow I was about to say my nose doesn't really take well to foundations like liquid ones anyway but that's covered really nice I'm just going to cover the whole nose with this powder actually that's covered nicely because usually with liquid foundations it can kind of look a little bit you know separated kind of like on the nose so I'm happy about that um now I don't have any concealer on and I'm thinking to myself maybe I should have put my liquids on before the powder I'm not sure but anyway, so this is how we're looking so far. Like, I wouldn't say it looks amazing right now because, like, this wee patch is bugging me here. And I feel like I maybe need a little bit more coverage on my forehead. I feel like my cheek has a little bit more coverage than what my forehead does. But I am using, like, the fluffy textured side. And it does say to use the more smoother side for um, more of a full coverage. So, yeah. But I don't really want to build it up too much because I don't want it to look like heavy or anything. So in terms of blurring imperfections, I feel like it's mm, kind of doing that. Like, it's not emphasising, you know, like, my texture or anything like that. Um, but it would be better if it could smooth out this area just a little bit more. So far, it's looking good. Like, I don't hate it, if you know what I mean? But I just feel like there's just something... It needs to be perfected. It's probably this wee patch here that's really bugging me. But anyway, I'm going to just leave that for a second. And I'm going to go on to the liquid. I don't use this a ton, this foundation. But when I do use it, I do like how mattifying it is. And it makes you look really flawless for hours. Like I'm talking about all day. Um, one thing I noticed with this foundation is that it does oxidize so it does get a bit darker as the day goes on um that's the only thing i don't love about it like i wish it would just stay the same shade but it does get a bit darker so this one retails for 35 pounds so it's like a pound cheaper than the powder it says that this one has a natural matte finish that helps to blur the look of imperfections so the powder also says um, it, it helps to blur imperfections it says the waterproof liquid foundation boosts its flexibility to sink with the skin to help avoid caking or settling for a lasting fresh face complexion it's got a buildable medium to full coverage formula providing a natural matte finish supporting a soft focus effect for filter free flawlessness so yeah it does look very kind of like flawless this foundation on it's interesting that the powder one also says that it is water resistant like very interesting and like i'm not going to be jumping in the pool right now so um i can't really test that but anyway that's really interesting and i know this is pretty full coverage so i'm not going to use too much i'm going to see the type of coverage that we get with this one compared to the powder one and yeah the shades are pretty close so this is 2N26 as well that's me applied the liquid one and you know I actually right now prefer the finish of the liquid one to the powder one i don't know if it's just because this little patch that i have here going on but i feel like there's just something 
um, funny about the powder one. So yeah, I think it's my skin right now because I feel there's a little patch happening right here as well with the liquid one. So I think that's just my skin, which is annoying. I should have maybe primed in. I'm not going to bother using the smooth side of the sponge because I feel like I do have enough product on my face right now I don't want to build it up anymore because then it might look too heavy or something like that so what I'm going to do now is apply my concealer see how it wears on top of this powder like I feel like maybe I should have done my liquid concealer beforehand but anyway we're too late now so I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer because this is quite lightweight and formula and that so uh, I'm going to use this one and this has a little bit of radiance to it as well, so like the foundation is matte, so this will give us a little bit of a glow. Okay, so that applied nicely on top. Um, however, I didn't apply too much powder um, to my under eye area, so like obviously I don't want to take this all the way down my face, the concealer. But so far, the little bit of powder that is went on top of, um, it's took really nicely. Um, it's not disturbed or anything like that, so. Yeah, the liquid concealer does apply nicely on top of the powder. Okay, so that's me applied all the rest of my makeup. And this is how we're looking. Like, just looking at my face here in person, I honestly believe that the liquid side looks a lot better than the powder side. It just looks a lot more like natural and perfected whereas this side here I feel like just there's just something about it there's something on my cheeks here that maybe there's just too much powder that it's kind of you know created a little kind of darkness here and then a little bit of like patchiness here I feel like I look smoother and more you know flawless and poreless just here on my cheeks than I do on this side something else which I find very surprising with this uh, powder foundation so far is that when I kind of like smile or like move my cheeks like this, I feel like there's just something a little bit heavier just around my cheek area. Whereas with the liquid side, you know, I feel nothing. Like it feels like there's nothing on my face at all. Very, very lightweight. Like just nothing on this side. I don't know. There's just something. I feel like there's just something built up here. N you know, it feels heavier. It's very, very strange like to kind of like explain, but... It's just something that I feel when I have it on my cheeks. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is very surprising for like a powder. Normally you think they're very lightweight. You feel like nothing on your cheeks usually. And with liquids it can feel heavier. But I don't know, something about the powder feels a little bit heavier. Just right here in my cheek area, just a tiny bit here too. But mostly here feels heavier. And it's not like from the bronzer that I applied. I felt it before, you know, I applied my bronzer. But yeah. Something to smell that feels a little bit heavier on my cheeks there, which is very, very, very weird and surprising. So we're at half past one right now, so we'll check in a little bit later. I'm looking forward to seeing how um, it wears throughout the rest of the day, so I'll do like a little check-in, see how we're going. So I'm here for a check-in. We're at five past five, and this is how the foundation is looking. This is the powder side. And what I've actually noticed is that the powder side is looking a little bit more glowy on the skin. You know, I feel like there's a little bit of glow happening on this side, which is surprising because one, it's a powder and two, it's supposed to keep you mattified, it says. On the liquid side, I feel like I'm still quite matte and this is usually matte all day and all night really so yeah this is looking kind of just the same really so i'm not really judging that side so there is a bit of shine coming through as you can see like and it's not the concealer because i only brought my concealer so far down here and as you can see it's not really happening on this side and i was i've done the same with the concealer on both sides so yeah this side is still staying quite matte whereas this side here is getting a little bit more glowy as you can see there now comparing both sides i do think that the liquid side here still looks more perfected more kind of like natural and just looking flawless whereas the powder one i feel like just looks a little bit heavier just starting to kind of get a little bit heavier around my cheeks here also like as i said this um side of my face does feel a little bit more like heavy so i feel like there's you know something a little bit tighter kind of like here here and here as it's you known as tightness to 
the powder which is a bit strange I don't know if it's maybe something you know this powder is supposed to do maybe keep your face feeling like tight and firm you know as you go on I'm not too sure but I can feel that there's something on this side of my face compared to like this side this, this side feels like weightless nothing totally breathable on this side whereas this side is a little bit no a little bit different. Um, I'm going to run through the claims about the foundation to see what we can kind of like agree with and tick off. So it says it's um, medium full coverage. So I would definitely say it's like medium veering towards full. Like I want to try it again actually using the smooth side of the sponge. Like I only use like the like the velvet kind of fluffy textured side. Um, I do want to use this side to see. Um, how that goes it also says it's breathable i do feel like it's breathable but i do think it's a little bit more heavier than other breathable type of foundations and it also says it helps to blur the skin so i would say it blurs purely because of the matte finish i think like yeah i don't think it's like emphasized my texture or anything like that it says it helps to keep your mattified for up to 24 hours and like Obviously so far I've only had it on for about four hours and there's already some shininess happening, like some glow coming through on this side compared to like, you know, this side. Um, so yeah, I don't think it completely keeps you matte uh, and obviously I don't have oily skin. So I can agree with a bunch of the claims there, however, it does say that it is a mattifying powder foundation and there's some glowiness happening which is funny because the last foundation that i reviewed the kbd good apple serum one i got glowy with that as well and that's supposed to keep you matte that foundation it claims to keep you matte um however i got shiny and glowy with it um which i honestly personally didn't mind you know and i don't mind this is going a little bit shiny as well um but obviously if you're buying it for to really keep you mattified if you don't if you hate like shininess and glowiness and you've got oily skin then obviously that's an issue because obviously it's saying that it's going to keep you matte and it's kind of not <laughs> but anyway could be different for everyone of course but so far on me as you can see it's getting a little bit shinier um yeah that'll be it for my check-ins for this video because i think i have a good understanding of the foundation but as you can see it's went glowy i feel like it's just going to go even glowier or it's just going to stay like this for the rest of the evening um you know but like in terms of like how it looks in terms of texture pores and all that it looks pretty decent you know here um this side just does look a little bit smoother but this side still looks really good as well um the forehead looks a little bit smoother on this side of course as well but i think it's still a nice foundation but i will test it out um more to see because i do want to see how it goes with the smooth side see if i get more of a full coverage if you haven't got either of these and you're thinking about picking one up i would probably say go for the liquid one just because i do think it looks a little bit more natural and like also flawless looking on the skin and more perfecting if that makes sense you know this side just looks overall more beautiful and perfected in my opinion like yeah, and of course if you want it for the matte aspect, then this one wins hands down because as you can see, this side is more matte. Anyway, that is it for this video. I really hope you liked and enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and I'll speak to you very soon in my next video. Bye.